Call the ambulance. Ice. Take a deep breath, you'll be fine. Take a deep breath. Call the ambulance. Try to breathe. Try to slow your breathing. Just don't look at it, okay? Is where we getting something? We were doing our first full out and all of a sudden like I noticed Chimmy just wasn't there at all and like as soon as he was like like Orby just like was gone and was over by Chimmy in like two seconds and so we didn't know what to do and we all saw Chimmy and we found out that her thumb had just like popped out of place. And we just hit the elite. You know everything was good Gucci Fendi Fendi Prada and you know Chimmy put her hand on the floor, she dislocated her thumb, which is like crazy because she's dislocated her um, elbow before, so it's kind of like deja vu type of feeling, seeing her fall and hurt herself. Hi, we are in a cheerleading gym and one of my athletes um, just landed on her thumb and I don't know what's going on, but called California All-Stars. A kid did a, a flip, landed on her thumb and her thumb is, I don't even know, she won't show it to us, but it's definitely not normal. This stuff kind of happens sometimes and and usually they just need a little rest and they'll get up and they'll come back. But on this particular full out, she's off. I didn't even see it. I didn't even, I had no idea, right? We get to the pyramid of that section and Enrique gets knocked. I look to the right and Chimmy is on the ground crying. Like, and a lot of people are huddled around her and you're, I think she could have broken. I mean, we still have to find out for sure. She, but tough, tough week. We're already done. But we called the ambulance too because we don't know, God forbid, there's dirt, uh, nerve damage or anything. We want to make sure that they handle it and not us, okay? You on the positive? Your routine was solid. <laughs> you're watching your teammates go down, like seriously go down. And you just see that and you're like, I don't want to throw another pass right now. Like, I don't. I don't want to, I don't want to do another run. Like, let's just go home. Let's, let's call it a day. Like, it, it's scary, you know? And then on top of the fact that you feel for them, it's like, no, not her. Like, not anybody. It, it, you know, we all get banged up. It's part of the game. But you don't want to see one of your teammates go down to the point where their season's gone or a majority of their season's gone. And everything that we sacrificed, everything that we worked for, it's it, just like that, because of a freak accident. In the permit, is he okay? Are you sure? Okay. Doable, doable. Uh, what happened? Put your hand down. Feel a pop. Have you seen it yet? Oh, yeah. You don't want to see it? Here, move the ice. Let me look at it. Just look away. You see your left thumb? All right, thumb. Okay. Don't put the ice back on. I felt so bad for Chimmy because she like rarely gets hurt. And when she does get hurt, it's like really, really bad. So it's like, like you just feel bad. It's like little Chimmy, like, oh my God, like her baby. She's like baby, she's baby. Chimmy is baby. Like she's the gym baby. So when she gets hurt, like you feel it. Like you want to just like go over there and just like, oh. We're like, oh, it's fine. She'll be fine. And then an ambulance rolls up and we're like, oh, that's, that's not good. And, and doesn't make me nervous for my team, but I feel bad for them because she's center flyer, and I don't know what they're going to do about that. So it's a little stressful for them. Tonight has been a test. Um, I got word that Ilse's back was hurting, and so we called Angelina in to see if she can fill in for Ilse, and we spent we spent half of the practice fixing that, and. Then we do our first full out and Chimmy gets hurt and it's like the same shit that happens to us every single practice. I'm sorry. It's just frustrating because they work so hard for this to happen the day before we leave. Again, the boys punch front timing and fort side roll is off again. So it's our last practice before GSSA. Cami, my base, had to go on a school trip after Monday's practice and through Friday morning. 
So we tried to get extra reps in because we didn't want to like miss out on the whole Wednesday that we weren't like working, but we were a little nervous. The GSSA bids are always bittersweet because there's only two full paid bids and we have four, five Cali teams that are eligible and paid bid is a full paid package, the world championships, hotel, airfare, you name it. And it, it, that's the only way SMOD will go two worlds is on a paid bid. So this is our first opportunity of four. It's Reckless' first opportunity of three, and it's gonna go either way. And someone is gonna be disappointed at the end of the day. And Orby and I live together and are married. And sometimes after that championship, after the bids are like awarded, it's either awkward, we're both happy for each other. One of us is gonna be a little down. So it, it adds another layer of stress, obviously, because we have to go home with you know, if one of us doesn't get a bid, we have to deal with that at home. But at the end of the day, it helps both of our teams and we want paid bids for both teams. Practices is actually going really well. We're working really well together. We have a lot of energy. My stunt group's working really well together and we're just super pumped going into GSSA. It, this week has been great for Samoa. You know, our full outs have been like hit after hit after hit. Just, just, sometimes just minor mistakes and the fact that three weeks ago we had no boy, we had a routine in shambles, we had Enrique filling in at our showcase and then we had a stunt group that was on the floor for a week and then here we are, just midweek, and things are coming together. So, uh, hopefully, we stay on this this path, and you know they get a paid bid this weekend. And here we go. To me, honestly, like when it came down to the ambulance leaving with her, I turned around, I looked at Angie, and I was like, "Come, come over here, <laughs> like." We might as well start trying it because realistically, if Chimmy couldn't do it and, you know, God forbid she couldn't do it or was like a major injury, we're going to need a new flyer. We've all flown Angelina before and it only just made sense like, hey, you're here, you're wearing two shoes, jump in the stunt. Eight, and she was like not for it at the beginning, but she knows if we really didn't need her, we already know she would totally do it. Jimmy's hurt. I don't know if she broke her thumb or I'm not really sure what's going on, but it, it's pretty bad. And so she's in the hospital right now and we're trying to make everything work with Angelina, but that's kind of unfair to her. Like she was called in to do one pyramid, one basket, and here she is doing the whole routine now. And even though she's very talented, that stunt took all summer to get and um, it's been a really good day. Make sure that everyone is feeling confident and safe, even though we did have some occurrences happen. Just make sure everyone is in the right mindset to do this routine right now. Make sure everyone is safe. It's our first bid event, and if I had two or three days to fix this, I know that I can get it done, but this is it. This is the practice I have. I got nothing else, and it's a full house in here today. We have choreography going. We have te lower level teams in here. We've got all the world's teams in here, and I just don't have the time that I need to make this happen, and so I'm not really sure. Go off to the side over there. I just think I'm gonna have to pull them for the weekend and that's really sad because we've gone through a lot this year and we've really pushed through and they finally got their lives together and, and here we are. The battle was there, the fight was there, I can see it. The stunts were coming down, you guys were still battling, you're still fighting, that's all I ever asked for. I don't ask for perfection, perfection doesn't exist. I ask for heart and that's what I'm seeing today. So keep that going. 
I understand we're at a low right now. If Jimmy comes back tomorrow, she's good to go, she's good to go. If she's not, we'll deal with that when we get there. For right now, Angelina's gonna keep trying that stunt. We'll make that decision tomorrow. But what makes a good team great is when shit like this happens and you're like, watch what we're about to do. NCA all over again. So it's time. I know to see a teammate down like that is hard. And to get out there and do what you did again, that's hard, knowing that your minds are somewhere else. So I'm very proud of that. All the worrying is for me, not for you guys. Got it? At the end of the day, we have another competition coming up in Palm Springs, Spirit Court, so we have that, that chance there, and then we have Dallas, and that's it. So if, if we don't go this weekend and they don't get their bid at Spirit Court or Dallas, then they just don't go to Worlds, and that's the name of the game. No bid, no Worlds. What's up? How's it going, guys? Uh, we got back from practice. Well, uh, where's my pad? Uh, I guess I'm show you guys around. This is the dining room. Everybody. We're entering my room where all the magic happens. Not too much, not too much. My little home studio. Got the headphones here. The mic. You know, spit your thing. Yeah, not too much. This is the kitchen. Party too hard. Dude. My mother be cooking for me. Good. Every night. Never on the town. Our living room. Kick back, That's watch some movies with the fam. You're not famous, Big couch. Bro. Sit one, two, three, four, five people. Just kick it. Yeah, like, yeah, we just. Y'all wanna watch anything? Alright, I'll catch y'all later. But it's kind of popular now. This is the guest room. It's where Gavon and Kyle will be staying tonight. Gavin with the black, you know, Kyle likes the pink. I did the thing. Today. After dinner tonight, we're gonna have a little get together with uh, Haley, Sierra, Malia, Jimmy. A couple people are gonna come over. I'm ready. Talk it out. Drink a little Diet Pepsi. <laughs> we're, we're, gonna, gonna, uh, we're gonna play a little Uno. Some dice. Some crap. We got some dice. So this weekend's big weekend and I feel like I've gotten like super comfortable with the team. Like I've already gotten close with so many people on the team. We are having, we are having, having. You heard it right. Let's live off. First person balance check. Oh. We're just chilling, playing Uno. It's like a special Uno, but I haven't been told the directions yet. Oh, oh you just got skipped. So whose turn is it? Your mama's. I think I went. Oh, no. <laughs> hey, mom, it's your turn. <laughs> Our second to last practice before the bid event, she used to say, I was going for my one of full and I don't know why, um, my punch was weird so I ended up touching out but the way I touched out uh, wasn't good. I ended up uh, dislocating my thumb. I didn't even know like what happened, I just turned around and like, angled there. Is that spicy? I was, like, I remember like going into Karen, like he went there and I was like, everybody was confused. I was like, I know,
I didn't even know anything happened to you. That was just like focused on Enrique because that's what I saw him like crawl out the floor. So my group has definitely had some concerns with me. I, I personally like. I haven't really questioned myself if I could do it or not because like, I know that I want to do it for my team because there's nobody that could really fill in that spot and I know that if I can't do it then we just won't compete because they just don't want to hurt me and they don't because my thumb like it could easily dislocate again because it's so close like to when it actually happened. So they're just nervous about that. Damn, am I the only one? Am I kind of nervous for this one or no? No. You shouldn't help. I was Why would you do this? You don't know what you're doing. You have like a really solid group. Okay, but it's our first home tomorrow, dog. And I, like, I haven't stopped being nervous. No, we can get it I didn't sleep last night. How are you not nervous? Like, I don't even know. You got a broken Like, you got a broken Yeah. It's crazy. She's a peanut you can catch everything with the other yeah. That's all I gotta do. And her That's crazy. Well, I I want to know how you feel. I want to miss How do you feel? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. I'm a, I'm a little nervous, guys. <laughs> yeah, when did you last compete? 2017. That hasn't been that Big reason I'm nervous is probably because I haven't done this in a while. Um, last time I did All Star Cheer, I competed at Worlds in 2017, so it's been a long time. I actually also did Navarro College. And they're in Corsicana, Texas. I forgot what well, competition is now. Oh, so like, oh, I mean, I I'm excited too. Bro, it's been it's two years. Been 2017. Like years. Yeah. Well, it was the last time I competed. <laughs> and that went. Well, that went out. Wait, so wait. 2017. 2017 was your last time. You know the feel. Texas is hard. 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 Like, it hard. was something hard. different in the water. It was definitely rewarding. Um, Texas was a. You won with so. them, didn't you? Huh? No, that was the year they lost. I lost. How dare you? Shots. Gavin. Shots. I was you after Did Worlds you know 2011. I was like, oh my god, we won, right? Like, we did. Uh, and yeah. everyone's like, no. Like, no, no, she fell. Like, like no, three fell. Like, I'm like, that's no, the ball that behind me. me. <laughs> it's tough. Especially competing against your brothers and sisters for that large sum of money, but it's really important that we do it there because it's hard to get it in other places. It's really hard. Did they have like oh, okay. a replay of the routine back then? Oh. Back then? Whoa, oh. man! Hey, is that you? Back then? What is that about? Back then! 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 Personally, I think that as long as I go in with the confidence that I have in myself right now, that I will be able to finish the routine, hopefully injury free, and hopefully hit one of the best routines that I can. I think that we could really push through and make this happen. I mean, don't, don't, don't put this in. I don't look too good right now. <laughs> you look the same. I think so. I'm saying you look beautiful. Good morning. Today is a wonderful day. I think you guys are trying to wake me up. 30 minutes before I can wake up. My alarm was going to go off at 11 o'clock. I was going to say, what time is it? 10.30? Damn, this was about to be disrespectful. Yeah, it was. It was about to be disrespectful. It already is. I thought I was done. New chair, new environment. I mean, hey. You'll be fine. I mean, the way I think about it is, like, if you're nervous about it being like Cali Snow Edge, just think you have a job to do. Mm -hmm. Like, if that concept scares you, just think, I'm not here 
for Cali Smooth. I'm here to do my job mm -hmm. and do whatever I need to do for my team. Mm -hmm. I'm more excited than nervous. And usually when I get nervous, I just think like, um, like you should be happy. Like I repeat it once more, and then I don't get nervous anymore. <laughs> Well, I used to wear lucky underwear, but I stopped doing that because uh, I lost them. And uh, I usually, um, I usually um, eat, have Starbucks in the morning. My ritual, other people don't like it because it like kills their vibe. I like, I shut down. Like I shut down and I'm, I just think about it too much. I'm just like, I'm not really mental, not really in a mental state, just like calm down. I gotta evaluate what I have to do, what I'm doing this for. And it, it kills other people's vibes, but it helps me focus. Oh, We're trying to ride around in the Beamer. You already know. <laughs> Shout out Sam Cole. Eddie has brought back three returners as alternates. He brought back Sophia Angelo, who was our center flyer last year. He brought back Coleman Payne, which is an amazing boy. And he also brought back Jaden Whiteman. Every flyer on the team has worked hard for their position. And I'd, I'd feel bad if we lost one. Being on the side really motivates me more to, to work because I want to be on the map. I've made them learn everybody's spots and it's going to be a battle, but Whoever wants it and wants it the most. Two cheerleaders walk into a bar. First one says, hey, do you watch cheerleaders? Second one was like, no. First one said, you should every Sunday. It's a terrible joke. <laughs> 